Here's an explainer. A GDP number doesn't tell the whole story under Bidenomics. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. Yeah, we ask that question, you know, sometimes they show good GDP numbers and does it really tell the whole story? And very often, regardless of whether you believe or not believe the GDPs are calculated correctly, but even as they're stated, do they really tell the whole story? What does GDP means? It's the total monetary market value of all the finished goods and services produced within a country's border in a specific time period. So when they quote a GDP number, sometimes they show quarterly gains, annualized gains, and even when you first look at the headline numbers under Bidenomics, you might think, well, that's not so bad, but does it tell the whole story? The problem is all GDP isn't the same. We've seen charts like this before, you know, the wealth inequality curves, the top uh, 5% make huge amounts of money, and, and in fact, it's almost going exponential. There's reasons for that. Maybe we'll explain that in another video. But you can see the, the top quintile and all the way to the bottom quintile is basically going nowhere for decades. You can see here is just a snapshot of 2021, and we can see here the, what the bottom actually lost, lost uh, income where the top 5% gained income. So you can see that not all income gained during a period, even though when you average all together, because uh, we all know that the top uh, 10 quintile, 10% quintile, or percent, 5% make all the money. Now here's kind of a chart, it was interesting, where we say real me median. Now median is different than average. So you got to understand, I will explain it a little bit more here later, that the household income uh, versus the real domestic gross product, you can see that the median income is flat, and you can see that it's expanding over time. And that will continue, again, for it's almost baked into Cade in the formulas of the Federal Reserve, et cetera, et cetera. We'll, we'll have to go into that in more detail. Here's the median income versus inflation. So here we have the median household income come in the gold line, and you can see everything else is rising. So this represents a lowering of standard of living. So when Biden is kind of scratching his head, he's trying to convince co uh, voters that this isn't the economy they think it is because he keeps quoting these head GDP numbers and how great it is, et cetera, et cetera. But this kind of ex this little chart here kind of explains it all. Let's say you have a, a fictitious economy with ten poor people and one rich person, or even middle class. So the poor man makes ten thousand per year, and the rich man makes a hundred thousand. So the average of those ten people are nineteen thousand, but the median is ten. So if the, if the poor people don't make any gains and the rich person gains, let's say, uh, 10% for the rich, then the average becomes 20K, which is a 5.26% growth rate. So they'll put on the headline, uh, the average now, which is what uh, GDP is, has grown 5.26%. Yay! But the median is zero. So when Biden tries to f can't scratches his head trying to figure out why people are dissatisfied, well, if you're the rich guy, you're happy. And if you're the me if you're the average or even the median, you're not because you've gained zero. And we can see this in this chart here. You can see the share of the poverty line under Trump was down, and then the, the poverty now has gone risen. And that's through the function of credit. We can see in the previous chart that you add leverage of credit and more debt, it actually accelerates that curve, which was kind of explains why that is an accelerating exponential curve. And most Americans say that they are worse off under Biden, and he can't figure that out, but the, the effects of the mathematics kind of show that. In any case, check out for more information in our post link in the description block below the video, where the AI explains a little bit of this in some more detail. And answer our online poll. Has life gotten better for you under Bidenomics? Hmm. Now don't forget to subscribe.